I was asked to sing the song about, about me dog, and at the time I was nearly away home to feed him. Before I sing the song, and before any more goes away home, I would like to take this opportunity on behalf of all the singers that were invited to Inishon and the ones that came that wasn't invited. <coughs> and on behalf of my own little contingent from South Armagh and Morvan, I'd like to thank Jimmy McBride and the Inishon singers, the circle, and their chairman Dan for having us all here and given us such a wonderful weekend. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. and the friendship that we received here in Inishon. You'd think that we were, I don't know, you'd think we were royalty the way that we were. <laughs> and there's no way we that are. you could get down for to, to give the praise that it deserves. So all that I can just say is to the people of Inishon, <coughs> to Dan and to Jimmy, thanks very much and long may it continue. <laughs> When I was calling Doug at home, I was telling you the best day that I'm going to hope to be. And uh, he's getting like myself, old and cranky now, and uh, hard of hearing. But uh, in his younger days, he was a nifty boy like myself. And uh, <coughs> a man came to visit us, or he came out to live with us and uh, from Newry, and he had a lovely big Labrador bitch, a purebred. And one day my dog went to visit, paid him a visit, and uh, it's the, the bitch he went to visit. And whatever he done, it wasn't appreciated. <laughs> uh, for, and he liked it and went back again, and the man was waiting on him with the bone and put two shots in him. And uh, I was very cross. And when I couldn't do anything else, I just penned a few lanes. It's that long since I said song with her, I hope I can. You can remember the old songs that you learned years ago, but the new ones are very hard to, to, to say. I was born a coldly sheep dog with a white ring round me neck. And for nine days my eyes were closed and I couldn't see a spank. I had four lovely sisters, me being the only boy. And for nine weeks we played around, my mother's a pride and joy. Tell a gentleman from Mullaban to me a licking took. He held me in his arms, then my master's hand he shook. Then he put me in the motor car and we started for the road. And in less than twenty minutes I was in my new abode. Well, the first thing my new family did was look for me a name. And they called me this and they called me that. But it sounded all the same. Tell me, Master, he came around the house, and this to me he said, Consider now yourself a dog, henceforth your name is Ned. Now my one great distinction was I had a bunty tail, and I wagged it for my master as we walked o'er hill and dale. We rounded sheep and cattle, and sometimes the nanny goat, and my master often threatened that he cut me flim. <laughs> And I and I grew up and to do my chores. I growled at postmen and soldiers and likewise the man next door. They loved to see me working, oh, they said I was a treat. 
And before I got into the car, I always washed me feet. <laughs> but sometimes dogs grow lonesome and I long to have a pal. So I met a great a big Labrador and she said her name was Sal. She said that she was a lonesome too, that she had a pedigree. I said, that ain't a problem, Sal. You just leave that to me. <laughs> when her master overheard the news, found out with her I slept. We didn't use a protection, so out across the fence he left. Senior Bunty tailed a black so and so from the ant in Conaway Park. I'll stop your gallivanting around my house after dark. When well, he's gone up to his shoulder, a careful aim he took, and the noise that came out of it showed the valley round it shook. And I felt me hide a burn, and as the bullets tore me head, and the woman says he shot that dog that belongs to Michael Ned. When me master he did hear the shots, and it happened just by luck, he stepped up to that gunman, and he says, young ring, <laughs> then he let him have the one, two, three up in the old fizz home, saying that's the medicine I do shoot. Any man would shoot me down. <laughs> well, he brought me to my channel, and now on the straw I lay. And I hear the neighbors asking, Will poor Ned live or die? I'm getting great attention for me, buddies full of lead. And for the first time in me life, I get breakfast here in bed. But <laughs> <laughs> me master's all forlorn as he sits and strokes me head. And he searches round my body for those little balls of lead. And he's using awful language as he sits there on the long. And these are some of the things he says about the man that shot his dog. Miss Gabs, let crabs grow up in flabs around everything he feels. And snuffers flow down to his toes, and hacks come on his heels. May's hair fall out, and he's a woman pout, and he's start smell like a hog, and the devil's a look for on that muri May piles surround his big backside. He's on their stock, and every time that he lifts his gun, that his stomach it may bark, and as he goes a hunting over heather hills or bung, may the diary escape with all its might from the man that shall be down. Now to conclude and finish, I am on all fours once more. And I feel that urge coming over me that did one day before. So I'll slip out some dark evening in the mist or the thick fog. And live another half a dozen pups with a man. <laughs> <laughs>